I felt this. So I have a Mac for my full-time job also, and we also use Google Suite. I actually don't mind Google Suite, dare I say, but I still love Microsoft. I still love Microsoft OneNote. There are some specific tips and tricks for OneNote on a Mac, and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like. He's also extremely passionate about OneNote. Something that's great about Macs is you can use emojis. So if you press Control, Command, Spacebar, you're gonna open up your emoji bars, and look at this, it starts making bullet points with emojis. If you just wanna start making a bullet point list, tap wherever and press command and the period at the same time. Let's say you wanna build a table for something, you can start typing and then press tab and it's going to make a table for you. And when you press enter, it'll make more rows. If you wanna start building a to-do list, so instead of a bullet point, it'd have like the little to-do checker, you press command and one. Some people on Macs like dark mode. So if you're one of those people, you come up here to view and then this little moon that says switch background, it'll go into dark mode. Also a bad example because I literally just built this, but let's say you've been using this for work forever and you have like a hundred pages and it's all over the place. You can sort your pages. You click this little drop arrow and you can sort them by their name, the date they were created or the date they were modified as in the last time you edited it. I think this might be the most useful if you're looking for a page that you were working on yesterday and now you can no longer find it. Try sorting this way. Also with work, you probably have a lot of documents floating around. So let's say you have a PDF. I'm gonna drop in some of my expense reports. When you drag a PDF into OneNote, it'll ask how you want to attach it or upload it. If you insert it as an attachment, this is where your little PDF lives. It takes up basically no space on your page. And if you double click it, then it'll open it as a PDF. Another way to do this is again, drag your PDF in. And instead this time we're gonna insert it as a, and you can see now the PDF is in OneNote. Once you insert in a document, you can also come to draw, you can click on a highlighter or marker and you can mark up your document. I can do more videos on this, but these are just a few of the tips and tricks that I use on a day-to-day -day basis in my Microsoft OneNote on my Mac. Let me know what you wanna see next.